The most publicly recognizable director during his lifetime has now, 32 years after his death, become the subject of two films set at nearly the same time. And Hitchcock, a narrative directing debut by Sasha Gervasi, has a few dramatic ups and downs led by large performances of Anthony Hopkins and Helen Mirren. Hitchcock tells the story of the making of Psycho, a film that was a trauma and a sensation in its own time and still has the capacity to shock its audience. Anthony Hopkins, who plays Hitchcock, is always dressed in the legendary dark suit and skinny tie. The film begins with him deciding on Psycho for his next film and takes him through the process of raising money, casting, filming, editing, and premiering the new picture. Hitchcock's wife, Alma Revel, played by Helen Mirren, gets her due as the collaborator working in every phase of production with him. Scarlett Johansson at her most charming plays Janet Leigh, working in the Psycho film. Though there's not enough in the writing of Hitchcock to allow for a great performance from Hopkins, but he's certainly done his best. If Hitchcock has a fault, it's that there's too little to challenge us, too little that's unexpected, and nothing striking that builds the movie. It's not at all like a Hitchcock movie. What saves the movie, if it does, is that everyone will connect to the picturization of how Psycho was made. It is Psycho that was just so interesting and Hitchcock the movie commits itself to dramatize that creation. It's fascinating to see a classic being built from the ground up and then burst to life in the editing process. The part where Hitchcock is seen standing in the lobby listening as his audience reacts to the shower scene is worth watching. But again, after a point, the viewers are left wondering where director Sasha Gervasi is going with this material. The screenplay is quite tangled up and this movie in a way is a stab in the dark. The film gets the suspense part of Alfred Hitchcock right, but all for the wrong reasons. Hollywood Backstage gives Hitchcock a 2.5 stars out of 5. Alfred Hitchcock was interesting, this movie is not.